most of us Punjabis, I don't want to say all, but most of us Punjabis have this character deep down, hidden within. We don't like showing it. We like to keep it hidden because we like to be sophisticated and all of that. But it's there. If you're North Indian, if you're Punjabi, it's there. Okay, with me today is uh, Ram Kapoor on uh, Candid Conversations. He doesn't really need an introduction, but for the sake of formality, he's a very famous actor. And the reason I'm interviewing him today is because he's part of this uh, must-watch series, is what I will uh, put it as, uh, running on Amazon Prime Video. It's called Jubilee. Uh, Ram plays the character of a producer called Shamsher Singh Walia. It's directed by Vikram Aditya Motwane, but uh, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to give uh, over the reins to Ram. Ram, welcome to the show. And how did you get involved in Jubilee? Hi, thanks for having me. Um, so, uh, getting involved with Jubilee was possibly the shortest work conversation I've ever had on the phone. I will literally tell you the details without even 1% exaggeration. I was in Singapore. It was during New Year vacation 2019. So 2019 New Year. And uh, I'm in Singapore and the phone rings. It's Vikram. And he calls and he says, hey, Ram. I'm like, hey, Vic, what's up? Listen, uh, my next script is ready. I'm starting in a few months and you're in it. And I said, cool. And we hung up the phone. Now, I'm not exaggerating. I didn't ask what it is. I didn't ask where it is. I didn't ask what the role was. I didn't ask anything. Neither did he feel it necessary to tell me anything because I worked in which very first product, which was Uran, 13 years back. And uh, uh, the trust that had formed between Vic and me uh, then was enough. Uh, certain people you will work with because of them, because of who they are rather than what they are offering you. Uh, I'd had a very similar short conversation with Meera, I remember when she offered me a suitable boy. All she said, it wasn't even her, her assistant emailed me saying, uh, Meera is doing something for BBC, she wants you to be a part of it. And I said, done, without finding out what it was. Vikram is like that. See, uh, Vic knew that whenever he is ready to offer me, he could tell me any of the details. So it was literally that short a conversation. And that's how I became a part of Google. Okay, leaves no scope for me to ask a follow-up question on that because obviously, uh, like you said, it is that's exactly how it happened. By the way, uh, I loved Suitable Boy. Obviously, I loved your role. I loved the whole uh, uh, series as such. Uh, now, you know, Thank carrying you. on with um, carrying on with Jubilee. Now, for the ones who don't know, the ones who haven't seen it, Jubilee is. I'll try to sort of uh, say it in a nutshell in ten seconds. Is based around the partition period. It is about some of the refugees who've come. Uh, towards the Indian side. It's about an actor who is to be launched by a big production house headed by none other than what we in Calcutta refer to as Bumbada, also known as the others as Prasenjit. And uh, of course, Ram Kapoor is a producer and there are many other characters. Now, Ram, your role as the Punjabi film producer Shamsher Singh Walia, and obviously I cannot use his catchphrase over here because YouTube is going to uh, mark me for that. But how did you prepare for it? Uh, uh, so when I, when I read the script, uh, I uh, realized what the character was and I had a few conversations with Vic and uh, I asked him, how does he want to play this character? And he said that he doesn't mind me going all out. Uh, he's, he left it to me, basically. See, he because he had worked with me and we had spent uh, so much time together during Udan, he knew me. Uh, he knows my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so uh, he gave me this role uh, with certain thought process in mind. So um, I realized that uh, uh, this character is a typical obnoxious, loud-mouthed, opinionated, aggressive, not giving a damn about anything kind of a character. North Indian, typical North Indian guy. Uh, North Indian people, Punjabi people, as it is... Uh, uh, loud and, and you know opinionated but on top of that when you're rich and you have a lot of money furthermore you don't need to give a damn about anything so that's what Balia is 
So I realized that I have to enhance that. So most of us Punjabis, I don't want to say all, but most of us Punjabis have this character deep down, hidden within. We don't like showing it. We like to keep it hidden because we like to be sophisticated and all of that. But it's there. If you're North Indian, if you're Punjabi, it's there. And um, I knew it was there within me. I just had to take it out. So I just let loose. You know, I used all my weight, my body language, my my size and and I just became my most aggressive, most opinionated, most obnoxious self. And when you do a character this loud, there's always a risk of going overboard. But because I trusted Vic so completely, I didn't have to worry about that risk because I, I knew that he will never allow any character of any product of his to go overboard. So the minute I get to overboard, he would control me, which is why it was so easy to let loose completely so I literally just let loose and uh, and I let it happen and Vic also trusted me enough where he just allowed me to do what I was doing and just guided me as and when needed it was a lot of fun and it uh, it didn't seem like we were working at all it was like it was just easy and it was fun and you know for anyone who's actually seen the series if they look at the first uh, sort of episode you know the way you described your character loud obnoxious um, sort of a uh, someone would even put him in the in the, you know the, like a bad person category. But as the series carries on, gradually one sees mm. to to actually one surprise that this is a character who's actually very lovable. Which brings me to my next question. You know, I found it very interesting that your character does not feel jealous when Nilofer starts getting involved with Jay Kapoor. Now, again, for the ones who haven't seen it, background, Nilofer is this girl, this dancing girl who's come from Pakistan. She wants to become an actress. Uh, she tries to impress uh, uh, Walia. Walia gets impressed by her, gives her a house to stay, is funding her, giving her acting projects. Jay Kapoor is another uh, director, actor, and he gets involved with Nilofer. So my point is, I actually, I mean, everybody would have expected that Walia being Walia would have said, I will give you a kar dunga. But actually, he's like taken it in his stride that ye, ye to hoti hai. Because uh, Valia uh, is, despite being, you know, obnoxious and loud-mouthed and aggressive and opinionated, the reason he's so successful in the industry is because he's also very smart and sensible and he knows what's what. He doesn't let emotions get in the way ever. He's too smart and too calculated to let emotions get in the way ever. So a business deal or transaction is very different and emotions have no place in it. That's what Valia is. Which is why things like jealousy and stuff over somebody uh, uh, like that, it's out of the question for somebody like Valia. Now, vis-a-vis -vis the other point you made, see, um, no matter what, character you're playing, no matter how bad or how sleazy or how uh, horrible he may be, when an actor is approaching the character, he has to find the humanity in that character. You can't play a bad guy just for the sake of being bad. You've got to give reason and rationale why he became the way he is. What were the reasons behind who he is today? And if you give enough to make Nelson, and you believe that he is the way he is because of whatever, then the audience will get to see the humanity in him. Everybody has all kinds of signs. Nobody is only bad or only good. So in the beginning, the audience might see him as a... But then as you get to see other sides of him, when you realize the wholesome personality... Then you know I'm hoping most people realize. Listen, he wasn't that bad a guy. That's that's the ultimate uh, that any actor needs to achieve, no matter how pathetic the character he's playing. You know, even a serial killer. If you're playing a serial killer, you have to go back to his beginnings and from his childhood and figure out why did he become the way he did. No child is born to be a serial killer. So what was the path that made him what he is? And then if you believe that and you immerse yourself in that, then the audience gets to see it too. True, true. And that is something the whole uh, the whole aspect of grey shades is something which uh, comes out on different characters, you know, even uh, I mean, without giving Correct. up the story, there are so many that there's one character who is the epitome of innocence at the by the end of the first episode and by the end of the series, you uh, see so many uh, different shades in him. Moving on. Yes. From that, 
Um, yeah, Ram knows what I'm talking about, which character I'm talking about. Ram, in your entire career, you know, uh, mm. some interesting fan reactions, like, you know, you've gone out in the public, maybe to a market to see a movie, something, I don't know, to buy something, Gulab Jamun from outside and some interesting, the, the way fans approached you or uh, the, the way they greeted you, some interesting experiences. Uh, I have been lucky to be a, a working actor for 25 years now. So I've had a lot of these experiences. Uh, so the two uh, that come to mind, one is a, a very embarrassing moment and one is a very special moment. I'll tell you the embarrassing one first. I was in... Uh, uh, my son was really little at that time and I was in an underwear store trying to choose under. And I actually had a pair of jockeys in my hand, like this, trying to stretch them and see how comfortable they might be. And a group of these teenage girls heroed me and insisted on clicking their photographs and talking to me and all of that while I was surrounded by underwear with actually a brand. I found it very embarrassing, but they didn't seem to care. They had a lovely time. So that is definitely one of the embarrassing experiences I had. And then another experience, uh, I was at a bank waiting in line. And uh, I realized that behind me in line, somebody, some child was got excited because he saw me. You have to, I didn't turn back right away. So first I just heard a child talking to his mother saying, oh my God, Ram Kapoor, Ram Kapoor. And those, uh, we are used to this. So I let it happen. I didn't turn around. And the mother was trying to hush the child because it's a bank and it's a quiet place. But the child was getting very excited, very excited. Oh, mama, please, mama, please, Ram Kapoor. And the mother was trying desperately not to disturb me and not to disturb the bank. This kept getting more and more and more till that child got a little bit out of control. A little bit of irritation, I turned around and I realized it wasn't a child. That with Down syndrome, oh. who got so excited that he couldn't control himself. And then the mother re uh, really apologized. And that excitement in that person's eyes when I hugged him was... Definitely one of the most special feelings I can ever have. It was more fulfilling than any award that I've ever won or any praise because this adult with Down syndrome was so happy to see me and so beside himself. When I hugged him, he was shivering. And I will never experience how special I felt that he loved me so much. Yeah, I think there's a certain uh, certain level of innocence and purity which is there, which... Uh which really you can't find uh, in a lot of other places in the world. So I completely understand what you're saying. Um, now, uh, is it true? I mean, you know, sometimes I have to check what I read on Wikipedia and the internet is true or not. Nowadays, you never know. Is it true that Charlie's aunt was your first play mm. when you were in school and what real did, role did you play in it? And what's, what's this Charlie's aunt all about? Uh, so that was my first big play. Okay. So I was, I, which was in Nenital, which is really known for his theatre program. Bachchan Saab, Mr. Amita Bachchan is also from Shorwood. Uh, uh, that's how big our theatre program is. So I was involved in the theatre program right from, I would say, the eight or ninth standard. So I used to do house plays. So it was my first play. But uh, once a year, uh, we used to do a very big stage five-act play where all other schools used to come and watch. It was a very big deal. And Mr. Amir Raza Hussain of Stage Door Delhi used to come and direct that play. And in that play, I got cast. Uh, uh, that play was Charlie's Aunt. And in that play, I got cast as Jack Chesley, who's, who's one of the leads of uh, the play. The, the Charlie and his best friend Jack are the two leads of the play. And I played Jack Chesley. So yes, it was my very big role in a very big play, so to speak. But it wasn't my first play. I had done smaller plays mm -hmm. in uh, uh, for house events but yes in, uh, that's how I got the acting bug because uh, Mr. Amir Azhar Hussain came and he cast me in that and after that I did a lot of theatre with him uh, and that's when I decided I think I want to try and become an actor okay okay interesting now for my last question I'd love to chat with mm -hmm. Ram more but the thing is we're just lucky that the internet connection hasn't been unstable till now which is always my worry mm -hmm. so I'm going to put it to my last question Ram Tell us about your upcoming movie and uh, web series projects, the ones which you can about. Uh, okay, I can probably talk about the next two. 
Um, so my very next one is a movie called Nia. It's with Vidya Balan and a whole lot of other actors. Uh, it's also something I'm incredibly proud of. I'm as proud of Nia as I am of Jubilee. Uh, beautiful product um, uh, that should be out in the next two months, maybe three months. It's ready. Uh, Post production is going on. Uh, so that's a film called Niyat, and uh, my role in that is very different from Jubilee. It's like night and day. So um, I, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but I have a feeling that will be appreciated a lot. So that's my very next one. Uh, two, three months, you'll see that. And then after that, around uh, September or November, I have a film coming out uh, called Yudra, which is uh, an Excel film, a Farhan and Ritesh film, which starts Siddhant. Uh, Chaturvedi and uh, uh, there uh, it's a gangster story it's about cops and gangsters and I play a cop in that that's also uh, an action film in a very uh, hardcore very very gritty film I don't think I've done something that hardcore before that's my next two projects that are coming out this year there are two more but I, I think that the producers talk about them before I will fair enough fair enough uh, thank you so much, uh, Walia Saab, for talking to us. And uh, yeah. we'll be in touch. And take care and all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank Bye. You. Take care.